Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm the author of many books on drawing, and I want to follow up on what's turning out to be a popular video last time, which was uh, on perspective. I showed some basic perspective, and I'm going to show you a trick to use basic perspective without vanishing lines. But first, show you what a vanishing line is to review it quickly. Let's say this is a horizon line. And horizon line, that's basically the thing that if you look if you're up here, you look down at it. If you're down here, you look up at it. It's like the horizon itself, and that's where it gets the name. So if you want to draw something with straight lines, say this is the corner of sort of a, a block. So it's facing right at us. We don't have the sides yet. So we put a vanishing line here, X on the horizon line, and another one here, and X on that horizon line. So we're first going to put this down, and it's just rough, down touches the bottom. And this one touches the bottom too. What we're really doing is you're finding the depth of the object. And I'll go over it with a black line. I'll make it a little higher here. So it's at the bottom. It's got to be at the top. Same thing. Another vanishing line here. Another vanishing line here. So it doesn't look much yet, yet right? But wait, wait, wait. What if you take this and... On both sides, have it go straight down. Oh, suddenly you have a block, an almost block, because what's this? Well, this is also for a vanishing line. This attaches right here to the top here, and this attach attaches to the top here. And then you darken it in, and you forget about the vanishing lines completely, and you might have a, a sun here, so the light source is coming here and adds a little shadow here, like so. And maybe a touch on the top here, but the sun is going to hit the top. And there you go. So that's what we were talking about. But we're not talking about that today. We're going to take all those vanishing lines out of here and use some other principles. Because suppose you're in nature. Now how are you going to draw nature with a vanishing line? I mean, a tree doesn't have a corner. A rock doesn't always have a corner, so let's figure this out. We're going to use some principles based on overlap and layering. And you'll see that they're actually very, very useful. I'm going to use a black line this time. So let's start off with two lines, okay? And these lines are going to represent, oh, let's say a lake. A lake right in the middle like that, all right? So what are we going to first show? Now here is the big part of the lake, close to us. Now maybe put a few lines in so it doesn't look like it's empty. And over here, let's say we add a few smaller trees. Like that. To show the distance between the front and the back. See, that's distance, there's, there's no vanishing line involved. Now you'll notice that although this is a good place to draw some trees, that if you were to draw them in an even row, it would look like a dentist's office. You don't want that, not in the middle of the lake. And a dentist wouldn't want it that way either, so you want to use a little randomness. So it depends. Also, there's a little technique involved in this as well. And maybe a f some fewer trees over here. And why fewer? Again, just make it a little different. If they, it's the same amount of trees here and here, it's symmetrical. It doesn't look like nature. Okay, so, let us also decide that what we're going to do here is instead of just having this and a bunch of clouds and the sun, which you, you might see, we're going to use almost the back of the, of the uh, mountains, almost like a canopy. And we're not going to close the mountains by going all the way down. We're just going to kind of feed into some other ones. Like this. And this can go on background like so. And this tells us where the sun is, all these shadows. The sun's got to be over here. Coming down here and casting shadows. So now we see, wow, that's, that's a pretty big sky. It didn't look that way before, and it looks that way now. Now, instead of just making a nice, nice horizontal clouds, very calm, very calm, why don't we make it a little bit dynamic? And all we do is add a few diagonal ones little bit of diagonal clouds like that, just a little bit, streaking down, streaking down toward this side of the sky. That's kind of nice, isn't it? Nothing's happening, but there's a little bit of dynamism. 
Well, we got the back line, we've got this layer here, we've got this layer here, but what about the front? You want to just leave it like that? No, we don't, we don't. So, let's overlap this line with, say, a, a large rock, something you might find on a hiking trail, like that. And maybe another one right here, not quite same height, remember, we don't want it to be symmetrical, like this, and we'll bring this down, Give it a little side, we'll give this a little side, and I'll just darken that in, and darken that in here. And now, maybe we'll give it a little bit of a hiking trail, like this. Now, as this comes forward, we'll give it a little, some horizontal streaks, which will get wider and wider as it comes toward us. And now we may have, over here, some more trees, but now they're cut off by this. So we know, oh, this is going down into the water. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to see the trees like this. They also now mirror these trees. Look how much layering there is going on in this picture. And on this side, again, not quite the same thing. They're slightly shorter, again, to show a difference. So this is a little darker and a kind of spreads out here. And you can do anything you want with this. You can have a little boat inside, and here is a nice sail. And we'll have a little water here. Going by. And what do we notice? We notice here that the sail is much taller than the tree. So, what, so immediately it says to us, we know where it is. It's close to us. The tree is farther away. Again, layering, distance, and height. So those are some things you can use to create a background without a touch of vanishing, vanishing points, but you're basically working with the same principle, but without straight lines. I hope that was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel. I love doing this with you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.